Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel of Code Digest. Today in this video, we will learn about shared database per service design pattern for microservices. I'll explain what is shared database per service design pattern, where to use it, and what are the advantages of this design pattern. I will also give you a real world example of this design pattern. So stay tuned. It is going to be very exciting and there is a lot of learning in this video. Friends, in the previous video, we discussed about database per service design pattern. Can you explain what is database per service design pattern all about? Have you seen that design pattern in any of your project? Provide your answer in the comment section of this video. If you have not seen that video, so please go and watch that video on Code One Digest channel. The link is provided on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel. What you need to understand, Susan, is that everyone has an agenda. Okay. Friends, here is an agenda for this video. I'll give you introduction of shared database per service design pattern. Then I will also tell you the real world example of shared database per service design pattern. Then we will see the scenario where to use shared database per service design pattern. What are the use cases of this design pattern? Then I will tell you the advantages of this design pattern. What are the benefits we get of out of shared database per service design pattern? Then I'll summarize the video. At the end, I'll also touch upon the next design pattern that I'm going to cover in upcoming video. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles, cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow our code one digest family. Thank you. Okay friends, now let's start with the shared database per service design pattern. This is a second design pattern in database design pattern category. In the shared database per service design pattern, the same database is used by several microservices. Each service is free to use and access data from the shared data storage. Database will maintain the acidity and atomicity of the data. In this pattern, each service should use the transaction management of underlying database so that acid property of the database can be utilized. Microservices often need to communicate with each other and shared database could be one of the mode of communication. You need to carefully access the application architecture before adopting this pattern and make sure that you avoid hot tables that is single table that are shared among multiple microservices. All your database changes must also be backward compatible. For example, developer can drop a column or table only if objects are not referred by current or previous version of all the microservices. Whoa, that's fire. Friends, now let's understand these design pattern with a real world example. We'll see an example of insurance database. An insurance database is shared by all the microservices and IAM policy provides the access to the database. This creates tight coupling during the development phase for example, a change in sales microservice need to coordinate schema changes with the customer microservice. This pattern creates hard dependency between the development teams. Also, this pattern introduces a runtime coupling. For example, long running sales transaction can lock the customer table and this block the customer transactions. What the hell are these things? Friends, now let's see another example of this design pattern. We will see an example of e-commerce application where this pattern can be considered in case like existing data storage should be preserved or existing data layer code base should not be changed. 
and the transaction are crucial for the application. In this example, product catalog, cart, order service using the shared database. If you see the profile object, order object and cart object will be shared across the services. If all the update operations are carried out using the transaction, then data acidity can be maintained. Use this pattern when you have very less traffic or load in your application. As the traffic increases, database operation increases and multiple services will be accessing the data at the same time. You're good. Now let's see some use cases of this design pattern. Use this pattern when you don't want too much refactoring of your existing code base. Use this pattern when you enforce data consistency by using transactions that provide atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. That is ACID. Use this design pattern when you want to maintain and operate only one database. Use this pattern when you don't want to completely redesign your existing data layer. Use this pattern when you want each service is free to use data accessible to other services. This pattern could be considered in a case like existing data storage could be preserved. Existing data layer code base shouldn't be changed and the transactions are crucial for the application. What? I can, I, I do, I do not understand. Now let's see some of the advantages and disadvantages of this design pattern. The primary benefit of shared database is no need to span the transaction across the services. Hence no need of coordination, no need of data syncing across the microservices. Using shared database reduces redundancy in the data storage. Data syncing between the microservices is not required. No possibility or very less possibility of inconsistent data. Shared database allow writing complex queries with joins. So it has a lot of advantages. It does has some of the disadvantages as well. Like a shared database is considered as anti-pattern. Using a shared database, the microservices lose their core properties that is scalability, resiliency and independency. Shared database is rarely used with microservices when a shared database seems to be best option for microservices project then you should rethink if you really need the microservices. Maybe the monolithic would be the better choice in that scenario. Changes in a shared database could impact multiple services and shared database is vulnerable to single point of failure. Really? Really? Okay friends, now let me summarize what we learned in this video. I gave you the introduction of shared database per service design pattern. Then I'll show you the real world example of shared database per service design pattern. We also saw the use cases and scenarios where to use shared database design pattern. We also understood the benefits of using shared database per service design pattern. What are the advantages and disadvantages we have using shared database for service design pattern. So friends, let me know if you have already used this design pattern in your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be useful. Please provide your answer in the comment section of this video. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Good plan. Good talk. All right. Friends, in the next video, we will cover the CQRS design pattern. I'll teach you what is CQRS design pattern. Then we will also see the real world example of CQRS design pattern. We'll understand the use cases of CQRS design pattern, in which scenario we can use CQRS design pattern. We will also understand the benefits, advantages, and disadvantages of using CQRS design pattern. So stay tuned for the next video and keep watching Code One Digest. If you are new to the channel, so please do subscribe to our channel to grow. The code one digest family i understood the assignment friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family 
please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you